Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing and subscribing. I post every day bringing you the latest updated tale reading. In this reading, we're going to get you some important messages that you need to hear right now. Today is the 21st of March, 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 6.51 a.m. Virgo, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo. Important messages that Virgos need to hear right now. Thanks for being here, Virgo. Virgo, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and whoever could be in your energy field right now. Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Virgo, you've got five, five major arcanas right here. So something big is happening to you, Virgo, where there is an ending and then there is a new beginning. Okay, however you want to put it. For some of you, it's an ending in your career, job. Um, or where you're living right now. And for some of you, it's an ending of a relationship um, or ending a stage in your life, okay? But I like that the, the Ten of Swords is next to the Four of Wands. So the Four of Wands feels much more stable, much calmer, much happier. But you may not be able to see it yet right now, Two of Swords. And the sun in reverse. The sun is in reverse, but that's only because I feel that you can't see it yet. It's not happening yet for some of you, but for some of you, maybe it's happening. Okay, you already know, but I feel like it's 50 50, right? Two of swords is one on the left, one on the right. So 50% of you, Virgo, you are on your way to this new beginning. You already know, and you possibly, yeah, or some of you could be there already, but another 50% of you, you may not be able to see it, but spirits could be saying with the Hierophant right here to have faith, okay? Do what's right for you with the justice, and you know what is right and what is wrong, and you're on the right path, okay? The sun in verse, you may feel a little bit pessimistic about the next step you're taking this path perhaps this current path but it feels like this current path would be like a new one okay because there's an ending right here nine of cups is right here as the last card uh for a goal. that means you're gonna be very very happy okay at the end of it all you're gonna feel happy you're gonna feel satisfied and then we've got the chariot here chariot indicates it, it could mean just being in charge. Now the chariot is reining these sphinxes in and she wants to go to a, a destination, but it's not that easy because these sphinxes, it's black and white, white and black. So it's like these two sphinxes are opposites. These two sphinxes will want to go opposite ways and you will be the one, you have to be the one who is in charge to rein them in and take you to where you want to go to. Whatever you're trying to control here, okay? Um, just being confident. The chair is also a very confident energy. Um, plus the ch uh, hierophant here, it makes me feel like having the confidence and faith. And also the hierophant has some sort of a structure to it. Um, and this is a teacher-student dynamic. Learn from the past. And now you will know better what you want to do, how you're going to go about doing things in your life or whatever that you want to achieve in your life and it looks like Virgo even if you doubt sometimes I do read the sun in reverse as sort of like a moon even if you have any doubts don't doubt it okay as long as you have everything in place everything properly managed it's not like the full card which is number zero the full is just taking chances taking risks right this feels more like being in control um, needing to 
prepare. Okay, before you go on a road, you've got to prepare what to bring, especially when it's a long road, especially it involves uh, something big, a big change, because there's an ending right here, right? Some of you are going on a road trip, some of you are traveling, um, and the high priestess here is in my verse. The high priestess in my verse, I do read it as like paranoia, right? Sometimes you may not know, like, okay, I think I'm on the right path, but I'm a little bit scared. Uh, I'm a little bit worried because things could go either way, right? But whatever the case is, spirits could be seeing that as long as you're prepared, the justice here, the Hierophant, for example, before you travel, you, know, you need to prepare your visa, your paperwork, that kind of a preparation that I feel is important before you go on this new journey. If you are prepared 100%, then there is no, um, there's no room for mistakes, right? Giving you another very lame example is before I used to travel for three years nonstop, right? And if I don't want to forget to do something or bring anything, I list everything down. And I take everything and I keep checking it so I won't miss anything instead of just relying on my memory, right? It's just a very lame, ex uh, lame example, but <laughs> you get the gist, right, Virgo? For those of you who want a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. A lot of people tell me that I'm very, very accurate. So you guys know this is just a general reading and it may or may not apply to you. Um, Three of Swords is here, Seven of Pentacles, and of Verse. Something that has been hurting you, making you feel sad. Actually, this Three of Swords has been coming out a lot in your reading. But, and you see the Two of Wands and the Tower, and of Verse. This is how you manage, I would say. And Virgos are super good at this, right? Super good at um, fixing... Not just fixing, yeah, Virgos are very good with fixing, but Virgos are one of the calmest when there's some sort of a dis disaster going on because the tower, it can mean something unexpected, disaster. And I'm going to give you another example. Um, <laughs> this is like a very, it's like something unexpected happening. I, I don't know if I should tell you this story, but I'm always, I'm usually the calmest when say something crazy is happening around me i'm also a virgo so i feel like a lot of you could be that way you may have some fear inside of you but i don't see that you're going to be showing it outwardly um i feel like i always think like i'm calmer than everybody else if there's something crazy going on um around me whether it's if it's a fight or even if, for example, uh, a breakup, when I break up, when I broke up with one of my exes, I remained super, super calm about it. I didn't want to go crazy. Um, the thing is not overreacting. That's what I'm picking up on. But for some of you, you might come to a crossroad where you either can overreact and blow up. You know, not all Virgos are the same. You have a decision to make in a split, split second. Perhaps this is coming up if it hasn't already happened yet. Um, you have a split decision to decide whether you want to overreact or if you want to maintain calm. I feel like the best way is to maintain calm because these cards here, three cards, this major arcana, the Justice, Hierophant, and the Chariot, they are very calm. You don't see a judge sentencing somebody, right, in a manner where they are shouting. Even if they give a death sentence, they always sound very calm because they know they're doing the job. Some of you, if you know this is the job, um, this is your job, even if it's dealing with a very difficult customer, always remember to maintain calm, know the rules, um, know what you're supposed to do. Be professional about it because these really look very professional, very calm. 
uh, in control. So some of you, you might get tested, okay, uh, by the universe or by people around you or by your situation where you might you where you might have to make a decision whether to overreact, go this way or go that way. Okay, best is to go this way, which is calm and understanding and having faith that whatever that you're doing, the decision that you make, whatever you're gonna be seeing, um, is is the right thing. Okay, okay. I'm gonna give you one example. Actually, this story it just happened not long ago. If you guys are following me on my travel vlog channel you see my latest video is a party on a boat right party on a boat so i went on a date with someone it was like i'm not sure have i told this story already i'm not sure if i did but story time so this guy i met on a dating app so we went um he asked me to go out on a date like a dinner date on that day that I was supposed to go to this boat party in Malaysia. And um, I said, I was thinking like, oh, maybe I'll just invite him, you know. It's not that serious to me. It's more like, let's see how he, how he behaves in public in such a situation, in such an environment and with my friends and let's see what happens. So I brought him and I brought two of my other friends my two other friends are lawyers and they are in engaged. And then my friend, whom is a DJ, she was DJing and she was asking me, she invited me because she needed support and she was very new at it. So I said, yeah, sure. So let's go. So we all went. And what happened was, you know, we had this VIP table because she's a DJ and she got us like a VIP table. So you gotta like buy bottles. You, you cannot sit at a VIP table without buying bottles and they have like a spending limit. Like you have to at least spend this amount of money in order to be seated at a VIP table. So we went there and check out that video if you want to. So we went there. So what happened? Oh, I actually, told a story similar to this one, but not this one exactly. But um, so what happened was my friend, my date, he was Spanish and he didn't, you know, he only had his bank cards and everything. It's like from Spain and he didn't bring any cash. So the boys, they were like my DJ friend's friends, like three other guys. So the guys, usually this is how it works in Asia, okay? I don't know in the States, because I was living in the States for eight years, but I never went clubbing at all. Um, maybe once or twice with like, you know, just like a small little bar, but not like this type of clubbing. So, but anyway, um, what happened was we were there and it's connected to this reading, okay? So we were there and then my Spanish date said, you know, oh, I don't have cash, like, um, I'm just gonna use my card. And then the boys said, the other guy said, oh, no, it's okay, like, later you can just bank in for me or grab pay me, there's like, an, that's like another, an app here that can use to like send money. So he was like, oh, okay, so, once it was done, but the thing is, I didn't drink that much. I was just a little tipsy because I was drinking on an empty stomach because I was busy the whole day. I was working. I was doing so many readings, personal readings, not just the readings on YouTube. So then I was like oh, in a rush, getting ready right after work. So I went. And but anyway, um, so, you know, the Asians, they can drink a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. The Chinese, the Indians. <laughs> My friend's friends were Chinese and Indian. So they were drinking um, a lot more than I did, as well as my Spanish date. We were both, we both maybe drank like three glasses of um, maybe whiskey and gin. And, but anyway, my friend's friends, the Malay, the Indian and the Chinese, there's another one he's mixed. But these two guys were like, especially the Chinese one, two of them were like, oh, trying to be super nice to me. Obviously, like, you know, we're in a group together, but also they were like really flirting 
with me, but I wasn't interested in them, you know, I wasn't attracted to them. And also I brought a date with me. So what happened was um, after that, right, after that, after that, and the Indian guy is also a lawyer. I'm just using their race so you can know who is who, what is what. Don't want to mention their names, okay? So, but in any case, they they eventually up. So the party was finished. We were done. We went back. And then as we were leaving, the two guys, the, the Indian and Chinese, my friends' friends, told my Spanish date that oh hey uh bro this is how much you know your share you owe oh i was gonna say that in asia girls don't pay for drinks whenever guys buy bottles it's very different it's a different culture like if you live in a different country for example america or wherever if a guy buys you a drink or something like that like you might have to go home with them i don't know is that how how that works uh, let me know in the comment box below. But in Asia, if you're a girl, you go out, you don't pay for anything. But I still pay sometimes, you know, like try to offer to pay at least. <laughs> but um, so two of them said, hey, bro, uh, this is like your how much you owe. It's like 720 ringgit, which is mm, maybe $200. Or less actually it's less it's 150 dollars around there so he said oh okay let me grab pay you so using another app but because his bank was his bank card is based in, in spain and he couldn't update it on that app and he was showing me showing it to me i was like okay he he said he'll try and like get it done whatever and then get it updated eventually and will you know wire the money to one of the boys the guys i keep saying boys because <laughs> they are like boys but any not that they are underage they're much older but um in any case after that so you know that spanish date i had <laughs> long story short but we didn't end up being together because um I ended up liking someone else who was in that party, okay? I didn't go home with anybody, but um, so my Spanish date was kind of upset, but it was okay. So I didn't do anything wrong because he was the one who was like not being such a gentleman at one point in time, and I got a little bit upset with him, and I was just like, okay, never mind, forget about it. Like, we can just be friends. And, but he also, he got upset eventually, but actually he liked me and he wanted to like take me home, but I didn't want to, I would never go home with somebody on a first date anyways. But so what happened was the justice in the higher fund, this two courts actually reminded me of that. So the Indian guy, he's a lawyer too. Like two of my other friends, he's also a lawyer. And he, he said to me, he wrote me and he said, well, since he's your boyfriend, I said, no, he's not my boyfriend. He was my date. And he goes like, and he's late paying because, you know, I show him screenshots of, you know, how he couldn't update his app. This story is going to get too long. But <laughs> anyways, he said, um, since you brought him, then you have to pay on his behalf. And in my head, I was like, he said, you're responsible to pay on his behalf because you, he's your, your guest or your date or your boyfriend, whatever he initially said, boyfriend. And I said, no. I said, you are a lawyer, right? I said, both of you, you're a lawyer. Think about it legally. If both of you had a verbal agreement in regards to the bill, um, me bringing him to the party, Legally, am I held accountable for that? Am I supposed to, you know, am I held responsible or accountable to paying on his behalf legally since you're a lawyer, I said. And he, go, he just kept quiet, right? Because he knew I was right. I don't have to pay for him, right? Legally, I don't have to. And you're a lawyer and you tell me that 
it's my responsibility what kind of lawyer are you right so but in any case Virgo in this reading um, I feel like for some of you you might come to a point where you're going to be tested as in if somebody says you're responsible for something and if somebody says you're wrong think about it like in a legal sense okay because the justice is about something that is legal it's a contract right or if you have certain law in, at your workplace if somebody says something to you with a tower right here that may cause or say you did something wrong and that might cause certain damages look up look back it, um, at the, the contract or the rules, the regulations, whatever. There's something I feel, Virgo, maybe this has already happened or this is happening um, right now or it's if it's going to happen in the future, make sure that you know your rights. Uh, make sure it's legally bound. Um, make sure you know the rules and regulations. And if you were to just follow that, I think you're going to be all right, Nana Cups. At the end of the day, you are going to be happy because you follow through. It's like you follow, it's like the right thing to do and it's governed by the law, okay? I'm getting like a little bit too. <laughs> it feels like some of you, some of you justice also can indicate you could be in a legal situation. For those of you Virgos in a legal situation, I feel like the outcome will make you happy. Uh, Nine of Cups, the Chariot, you finally can kind of move on from it, okay? But as long as you have enough evidence, proof, and you stand your ground, I think, I think you're going to be all right. But Virgo, we've got the strength right here. The strength indicates you needing to tread very carefully, right? Um, treading carefully, be very diplomatic, and be tactful, okay? Be tactful. And every words you say, and I always do this, right? Um, when I exchange texts with anybody, at the back of my mind, I always remind myself that this can be screenshot. This can be used as a proof, as an evidence. Whoever you talk to, okay, it doesn't matter if you would trust the person or not. Bear in mind that it can always be, be, be screenshot, it can always be read by other people, third party, used, it can be used against you. So always remember to anything that you put in writing, even when you talk, when you say something over the phone, people can record it. So make sure, I just feel like Virgo, just understand at the back of your mind, just remember that right now or in the near future, everything you say, everything that you do, people can hold that against you, okay? Because eight of wands here is in one verse. They might cause you certain damages. It could be online, even your status, the post that you post on your social media, all of that can be used against you. And in, in fact, it has become a tool for a lot of in investigations, whether it's you know, murder investigation or um, any like divorce. Um, if you're in a, if you're getting a divorce or somebody wanting to hire you, they will check your social media. These days, all they have to do is go to your social media and look everything up, what you say, what you post. So be aware of that. Okay, be aware of that. Sometimes I tell myself, I don't care. You know, I'm not at the wrong, so I'll just post something. But And also, if you want to follow me on my Instagram, information is also in the description box below. I post on my stories. Um, I rarely post on my, you know, news feed, just on my stories. Even stories, they can screenshot, they can screen record. Ace of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Emma Verse. Some of you, again, it's a new beginning that I feel you're thinking about embarking on. Or starting and for some of you are in the midst of doing that um, but I still feel that Virgo you know strength indicates patience and be strong needing to be strong and you will get there because the chariot is a major arcana so that means you know um, it's a big thing 
and it's also also indicates success okay the road in front of you is going to be successful but as long as you know you're right as long as you know you're prepared okay as long as you know you're prepared you like i was flying before like i was traveling a lot before and every country that i would before i fly i have to check like do i need a visa right or certain things that i need to learn and understand because the hierophant indicates again teaching and learning um, understand and learn first before you start with this new journey because sometimes the two ones two swords also can indicate that it will go a different way um, in terms of if you're underprepared then it may not be you might not get the outcome that you want to okay so be very very prepared but i see for once again for a lot of you are gonna gain this stability you're gonna feel much happier possibly not quite there yet but you'll get there eventually okay time will tell all right Virgo. i'm talking for way too long um <laughs> it's you're my first reading of the day i wake up at 5 a.m every morning and have something to eat and i start reading this my first reading so thank you so much for being here thank you for watching don't forget to hit like share and subscribe if you uh, resonated if you find this reading to be help to be helpful in some way shape or form and um if you want to book me for a personal reading very accurate a lot of people tell me that all of the information is in the description box below if you don't know i do have a main channel it's called chelsea love tarot um go and subscribe to that one as well and i go live on that channel as well as a prediction reading weekly monthly yearly and some random stuff that i will post <laughs> on that channel as well go ahead and subscribe to that channel if you want to and on this channel don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you want to be notified every time when i post your videos take care Virgo. i love you bye